I want to be the very best, like no one ever was. To get this my real test, to train the Ms. Makar. Pokemon! What's up my friends and my new friends? Welcome to a brand new video. Today we're going to be reviewing Dragon Ball Super Episode 52. Last week's episode was awesome, but before we dive right into the review, I want to apologize to you guys for the lack of content over the last two weeks. I know you guys have been wanting a brand new video, so just bear with me. I'm trying to pump out videos as best as I can. I've been so busy. You know, these last two weeks, I've been attached to this game called Pokemon Go, and um, I'm going to play a short clip for you guys here. Okay, it's up to Star You. Wider Pokemon are amazing against electric Pokemon. <laughs> Die. Die. Take that. Take that, Jolteon. Bam! Oh shit, it's an Electrobuzz. Time to die by Onyx. Fuck. I think I just killed my phone. Oh, I know. Not very effective. Yes! Yes! I just got wrecked. Okay, so like I haven't been addicted to a game like this since Dragon Ball Xenoverse in 2014. And, you know, like Dark Souls 3, Gears of War 3, Fallout 4, The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. But, you know, like, I was more addicted to Dragon Ball Xenoverse and Gears of War 3. But, like, this game, it's just, like, sucked me dry. And I'm, like, hooked in, okay? Like... I literally can't get out. It's it's so amazing. So if you guys haven't downloaded it yet, go ahead and check it out. And if you'd like me to do more videos um, for Pokemon Go, like a vlog or something, just let me know. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and dive right in and start talking about Dragon Ball Super Episode 52. Dragon Ball Super Episode 52 is flawless. Seeing Future Trunks and Gohan catch up was sensational, especially the part where Beerus, Whis, and Goku went to Universe 10 to learn information about Black Goku from the Kai of that world however this didn't happen until the very very end of the episode so we're gonna go ahead and talk about more about what happened at the end of the episode towards the end of this video so at the beginning of the episode Mai and Shu assist Bulma when she attempts to repair the time machine Kid Trunks is clearly staring at Mai and shortly afterwards they go into a room alone with each other when they look for specific parts for Bulma and Dr. Brief to use towards repairing the time machine it's funny because Pilaf is clearly learning from Dr. Brief's expertise Tease. However, Trunks picks up a saw and puts it around his back in an attempt to win over Mai's affection for him. Vegeta continues to train and he is absolutely furious with Black Goku because of what he did to Bulma and the rest of his family in the future. He uses that anger to train and excel his strength and increase his hatred towards Black Goku. Apparently, after Trunks wakes up from a terrible wet dream about Black Goku and Mai, Trunks goes to Bulma and learns that the fuel that Monaka helped her create a while back is what's used as the fuel source for the time machine because the technology is nicer in the present than in the future it'll be faster to gather the required energy for Trunks's return trip to the future afterwards Piccolo explains to Trunks that Gohan is a scholar and no longer a martial artist and he shouldn't bother with bringing Gohan back to the future with him Trunks informs Piccolo about what happened to Gohan in the future about how he died to the android and therefore Trunks was able to evolve and transform into a Super Saiyan. Trunks arrives to meet with Gohan and they talk, but the conversation between Gohan and Trunks revolves primarily around Gohan. Trunks recalls the past when Gohan was mighty, when he was the only one capable of saving Earth and putting an end to the mighty cell. Gohan encourages Trunks to try the ice cream, but I was like, no, dude, don't do it, Trunks. Don't do it, Trunks. Whatever you do, don't. Don't crouch downwards and put your mouth, wrap your mouth over that chocolate ice cream cone. Like, according to his facial expression on Trunks' face, he felt a little bit uncomfortable doing that in public. But, you know, he did it anyway and apparently he liked it. Like, hey, you know, you guys, ice cream is 
freaking amazing. So I don't know what you guys are thinking right now, but I could totally go for an ice cream cone myself or even like one of those fat boy sandwiches or like a bowl of cookies and cream ice cream. In fact, I actually made a bowl of cookies and cream ice cream last night, like a huge bowl. Like I went to the store, I bought like a huge container of cookies and cream ice cream and I just like scooped out like freaking 10 giant scoops of cookies and cream ice cream and I just like put it in the bowl and I was just chowing down on that like a freaking ramen noodles, you know? Because ramen noodles, they're like actually really, really good and really easy to eat. Like especially if they're like authentic, legit ramen noodles, you just chow that shit down in like five seconds or before you know it, the ramen noodles are gone and you're just really still hungry and you want more ramen noodles and you're like, yeah, dog, I want some more of these ramen noodles. Like what the hell these ramen noodles at, man? Like my ass is still hungry and I want me some ramen noodles. Come on, dog, cough them ramen noodles up. I don't know, but I freaking love ramen noodles and I freaking love cookies and cream ice cream. In fact, I might actually go into the freezer, pull out that cookies and cream ice cream container of what I got left and just scoop the remains out and dump it into a freaking um, garbage can and just chow that shit down. I don't know. <laughs> That sounds pretty disgusting. I would never put that in like a freaking garbage can or something and just chow down on it. Probably like, oh, fuck, what am I saying? Anyway, cookies and cream ice cream is delicious, but I, like, I honestly have no idea what you guys' favorite ice cream is, but I also really love me some freaking bomb pops, fudgesicles, rocky road, play-doh, and maple butt, or fuck, blah, blah. I mean maple nut. Sorry, guys. <laughs> You know what? If you have watched this far into the video, go ahead and comment what your favorite ice cream is. If it's something I haven't tried and this video gets 100 likes, I will literally go to the store tomorrow, try or at the end of this video, if it gets 100 likes within 24 hours, I will immediately go to the store, buy that ice cream, if I've never tried it before and the place is open and they got it and I will totally eat it for you guys. I don't know about you guys, but if you haven't tried the red, white, and blue popsicles, which are basically referred to as like bomb pops, go ahead and check them out. Like this isn't a sponsorship or anything like that from the company that makes the popsicles. I'm just like doing this from like my own free will, you know, like I'm just recommending these freaking popsicles because those popsicles have literally been my favorite since I was a child. Like they are, they're really tasty, you know, like tasty, like... That just sounds really weird. <laughs> Mr. Satan appears, and he recalls meeting Trunks a long, long time ago, although Hercule assumes he is mighty and famous in the future. Pan squirts Videl's breast milk in everyone's face, and afterwards she flies around acting all out of control, and Gohan freaking turns into the great Saiyan man, goes ballistic, and starts flying around with his daughter trying to catch her and bring her down. Like, they're literally flying around inside of um, Hercule's house, and they're just having a blast while Hercule and Videl and Trunks are just watching freaking go on in a superhero costume, fly around in the ceiling and chase down his daughter and just bring her down. It's actually, that moment was pretty hilarious, you know, but like, oh, blah, blah, blah. Gohan informs Trunks that he has a desire to be more strict with Pan and discipline her, but he can't because she is so adorable and cute. Like, look at her. She's so adorable. Like, look at those little cheeks. Like, don't you just want to, like, pull and squeeze on them and, like, give her kisses and shit and just, like, be like, who's a good little baby? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Trunks is literally sad when he realizes that if Black Goku never showed up, he would have a family and he would have somebody to go home to and fuck Black Goku. I'm just kidding. He's kind of cool. He would be basically having dinner with Bulma and Mai right now. And he probably wouldn't be in the past, but you know, he's happy for Gohan. So what happens after this is Trunks leaves and returns back to Capsule Corporation to find out that Goku, Beerus, and Whis have disappeared on an adventure to Universe 10 so that they can learn information from the Kai of that world about Black Goku, and this Kai is apparently called Zamasu. <laughs> 
just like that, the episode ends! It ends! Like, what a cliffhanger, man! With just Beerus, Whis, and Goku flying off to Universe 10. But we do kind of get, like, a little, like, scene of, like, Zamasu and, like, a teapot and everything. But, you know, it looks like next week we'll be leaving Earth behind and we will see more of a focused approach on Goku's new adventure with Beerus and Whis in Universe 10 and the debut of Zamasu. Let me know what you thought of this review for Dragon Ball Super Episode 52. Uh, let me know if you're excited for Dragon Ball Super Episode 53. Let me know um, what your favorite ice cream is in the comment section below. Please, let's try to get this video to 100 likes or more. Thank you so much for taking the time today to watch this video. I greatly appreciate it. If you haven't done so already, links are in the description. Go ahead and follow my Twitter. I tweet about Dragon Ball Super, Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 all throughout the week. And I just talk about games in general and all kinds of stuff that's going on with me in reality. And if you guys Guys would love to interact with me outside of YouTube and you got Twitter well hey hit me up and I'll hit you up back and we'll just like talk about whatever you want I don't know what's going on with me this video but my voice is just all over the place <laughs> one second it's like hey what's up guys how's it going and then the next thing it's just like blah, 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 and I'm like Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the video, thank you so much for taking the time today to watch this video. I greatly appreciate it. Please keep living life to its fullest every single day. Live positive and enjoy life. Also, sorry for the spoilers in the title and in the thumbnail. You know, uh, yeah, it's, yeah, you know, yeah. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace. By the way, I am not high, or am I?